Callie's 15 year old male. We were called for an ultimate medical status. And she was conscious upon our arrival, however, we had lost trust in this event. However, we have not been sure. Respirations are at 14. Pressure is now 120 over 80. His O2 stats are at 96. His respirations have now come up to 18 per minute. Well, hello, I'm Hal. I'm one of 31 mannequins in the CTC Simulation Center Laboratory. I'm what they consider high fidelity, and I can help teach you how to treat a variety of health problems along with my many other friends here. Let me show you around. You've already been introduced to the emergency room and ambulance bay where I come in at. Bye now, enjoy your tour. Next, we're going to visit one of our two medical surgical rooms. In here, each bed is set up just like a real hospital with modern equipment and supplies, so students have everything they need to take care of my friends. There are oxygen and medical airflow meters, suction units, modern electronic beds, and a nurse call system. This room is one of the two ICUs, which is where I usually stay. In the ICU, students administer advanced care and procedures such as intubation, cardiac monitoring, pacing, IV therapy, and medication administration. They practice advanced care simulation, such as diabetic, altered mental states, and heart complications. The CTC nursing program has been around since 1968, and this new building was completed for the spring semester of 2011. The Simulation Center Laboratory is over 10,000 square feet, and the LVN, ADN, EMT, and paramedic programs are all taught here. Here on the right is labor and delivery where many of my future children will be born. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Up there we see the nurses station, which is also fully equipped like a real hospital, with access to monitors on every bed, as well as the ability to respond to any issues any patient like me may have. This is the home health room. This is where my grandmother lives and where students learn how to care for patients that need help with routine activities that they cannot complete on their own. This room is the pediatric room where the children are admitted. We have a one-year-old, a five-year-old, and a seven-year-old, two of which are high fidelity, which allows students the ability to practice advanced or basic care. All of our rooms throughout the simulation center laboratory are monitored with state-of-the-art audio-visual systems, which includes more than 30 cameras, and our control room has more than 20 computers. Thank you for visiting our simulation center, and I hope to have you taking care of me in the future. If you have any questions about our EMT, paramedic, licensed vocational nurse, or associate degree nursing program, please stop by or call.